G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a really, really rapid way of mental multiplication called the base method multiplication. This time we're looking around numbers around 100. So in previous videos we've looked at numbers around 10s, 20s, 30s, 50s, okay, and where we might be multiplying say 37 times 53 and how we might deal with that sort of thing in a mental rapid way of, of actually multiplication. But this, now we're looking at a later version uh, which is looking at now numbers near 100 and the good news is it's probably one of the easier sorts of base mu multiplication methods now if you haven't seen the previous videos I really recommend you do okay I'll put the links up it's up to you so what is base multiplication base multiplication is where when multiplying two numbers we use an easier number to help us so with a hundred base amount of multiplication we're going to be using the base of a hundred. Okay, so we might use this, say we're doing multiplication of say numbers like a hundred and five times a hundred and seven. Okay? Now a number that's really easy near this is a hundred and a hundred is a really really basic number to multiply with. So how do we use this base? Well first off what we do is we see how far our number is from the base. So this number is five more so we write that as plus five and this one 107 is 7 more than 100. Okay, you good with that? Okay, so what we then do is we then cross add like we've been doing in these other videos. Okay, so 105 plus 7 or 107 plus 5, the answer is going to be the same. So we get 112. And then what we do is we multiply this number by our base. Now 100 is a really easy number to multiply by, yeah? It's a matter of just putting two zeros on the end. 0, 0, 11,200. Okay, then what we do to get our last part of the answer is we multiply these two numbers here. Okay, so 7 times 5, or plus 7 times plus 5 is 35. Okay, it's plus 35, we're going to add 35 to our answer. So when we do this, we get the answer 11,235. And you're going to notice this is actually quite similar to another video I made also uh, a couple of years back actually it's a similar sort of uh, idea to this it works on the same principles so did you understand all that so let's do another example of this okay so um, let's do using again base 100 let's say do 109 and we're going to times this by 102 okay so this here is 9 more than 100. This here is 2 more than 100. Okay, we cross add. So 109 plus 2 or 102 plus 9. We get the answer of 111. Timesing by 100, this not answer, because we times by the base, we get 11,100. And then we multiply this these two numbers to get the last part of our answer. 9 times 2 is 18. So our answer. 111, 11,118. How did you go with that? Pretty good. You're going to notice, by the way, uh, you can actually get away with often not putting these zeros down and just writing this number straight in if, you, if you're doing it written. But I'm encouraging you to do this mentally now, okay? Because that's what this base number of multiplication is more about, is trying to start to do things mentally. Okay, let's uh, have a look at another example. What about we do, okay, 106 times 97. Again, we're going to use base multiplication 100. We're going to use the base of 100. These numbers are both near 100, so this one is 6 more than 100, and this one, as you might notice, is less. It's minus 3, okay? It's 3 less than 100. So we do the same process, though, okay? 106 minus 3 or 97 plus 6 whichever one you prefer you're going to get the answer of 103 okay with our 0 0 actually it's going to leave those as two blank spaces okay then what we do is we multiply these two numbers together okay 6 times minus 3 is minus 18 so we're going to take 18 off our answer okay so maybe I should have actually left these zeros in here yeah um, let's take 18 off 100 uh, 10,300 we're going to get the answer 
of 1, 0, 2, 8, 2. Okay, 10,282. Did you go okay with that one? Alright, let's have now a look at a bigger example. I'm going to um, say do, what about we do this one? 112 and we times this by 109. Okay, really quickly, this is 12 more. This one here is 9 more. Okay, 112 plus 9. We're going to get the answer of 121. You know, 12,100. Okay, you're going okay so far. Then what we do is 9 times 12. Hopefully you know your 9 times 12, which is 108. We're going to add that to our answer. We get the answer, 12,200. And eight. Okay, what about I give you a bunch of examples? You can pause the video, you can try to answer them. Okay? Let's give you a couple of examples. What about 105 times 101? What about uh, 97 times 93? And what about 92 times uh, 112. Okay, pause the video, see how you go with these. So how'd you go? I think I actually gave you examples much harder than I did. Hey, that's the way I do things, okay? But more fun to get you to do all the work, yeah? So this one's five more, because we're using base 100. This one's five more. This one's one more. 105 plus one is 106, zero, zero. And... Then we have 5 times 1, which is 5, so we're going to add 5 to our answer. And we're going to get the answer of 10,605. Okay, the next one. This, we're going to use in base 100 again. This is 3 less. This is 7 less. Okay, so I just want to tidy that up a little bit. This one here is 7 less. So, what do we get? We get 97 take 7. We're going to get the answer of 90, 9,000, because we times it by the base, we get 9,000, and then 7 threes are 21, so we're going to add 21, because a minus times a minus is a positive answer, we're going to add 21 to our answer, we get the answer, 9,021, okay, what about this one, we are... Eight. We're using base 100 again. We're 8 below 100 and we're 12 above 100. So let's do the same uh, thing we've been doing the whole time. We're going to get 112, take 8. We get 104. Okay, so we're going to get 10,400. And then 8 times 12 is 96. But it's not 8 times 12, it's minus 8 times 12. So it's minus 96. Okay. What did you get as your answer? Hopefully you got 10,304. Did you go good with those? Hopefully you did. I'll tell you what, I'll put the links up in a little bit for all those other videos. But just to, just to finish this off, I reckon I'm just going to put a bunch of, of all the other ones we've done so far up. So some examples of these, okay? So see how you go with these. And I think it will be a good little way of finishing off this particular idea. Okay. What about we do 21 times 14? What about 36 times uh, oh, 29? What about 55 times uh, 56? And... 104 times 97. And these are the types of things we've been doing in all these other videos, yeah? So pause it, see how you go. And if you can't do these ones, you might want to go back and have a look at these other videos, yeah? Okay, let's have a look. So hopefully what you got was this. The first one, we're going to use a base of... I'm going to use a base of 20, okay? So this one was 1 more than 20. This one here was 6 less than 20. So... 14 plus 1, we get 15, but you remember we had to times it by the base, so 
15 turns to 150 300 okay and then I actually might write that in a different colour no point in actually uh, changing the colour scheme I've been doing so 300 and then what we do is we get uh, minus 6 times 1 is minus 6 so we're going to take 6 off our answer you get the answer 294 okay what about this next one what base did you use for this one hopefully I would use 30 this one's 6 more than 30 this one here is 1 less than 30 okay let's have a look uh, 36 take 1 is 35 did you get that 35 so 35 when we have to times that by the base so 35 times 3 is 105 but it's times 30 so it's it's 1050 and these two numbers we multiply we get minus 1 times minus 6 so we're going to take 6 off our answer once again and we get the answer of 1044 okay let's have a look at this next one so we're using base 50 this time we're 5 above 50 we're 6 above 50 okay so 56 plus 5 we get 61 okay did you get that 61 and if you remember what we did with this is we times it by 100 so we got 6100 and then we halved it so we got 3050 okay because we are multiplying by 50 there and what we then get is 6 times 5 is 30 so we're going to add 30 to our answer we get the answer of 3080 how'd you go with that good all right last one this one should be really really good because we've just done this before uh, this one's we're using base 100 I've already started doing it without even thinking uh, we're four more than a hundred we're three less than a hundred a hundred and four take three is one hundred and one okay we times that by a hundred we get ten thousand one hundred and then what we do is we multiply these two numbers four times minus three minus twelve Hey, let's just take 12 straight off our answer. We're going to get the answer 10,000 and what are we taking off? 12 off, so 88. Should you go alright with those? If not, here's the links to the various sections up now, all where the relevant parts are. I hope you really, really like that little series. I, I find it a great little uh, method. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.